Hello everyone, welcome to another brand new Zombies Ate My Neighbors Let's Play. Um, this one is special. This one is hopefully not going to be nearly as frustrating as the last few Zombies Ate My Neighbors hacks I've been playing. So, what are we doing? Well, unfortunately, no one voted at all in my poll. Nowhere did, they get, did I get a vote in my poll, so... We are going to be doing the original, the canon, Zombies Ate My Neighbors. 100% no hit run. With one exception. There is... We're going to have Julie for this, by the way. There is one level in the canon Zombies Ate My Neighbors where you can't rescue all 10 victims because there's an inaccessible tourist couple. But, we're going to start a day of the tentacle. And the goal of this is I can't take any hits. And I have to rescue all 10 victims in every stage. Now, a little backstory on this. I probably should have done the same stage. Whatever. A little backstory on this. I actually have done this before. Well, not all the way. I never actually completed this 100%. But I did do this before. I, I did attempt this run on the I did attempt this run before on the virtual console on the Wii. And I am happy to report, I did not do bad. I actually made it all the way to a level 10, no, 11 before I took a hit. But I did rescue all 10 victims up until that point. What had happened is when I went to level 11, um, well... My, uh, Y button did, uh, stopped working on me when I was by a pod plant. No, when I was uh, trying to go over weeds, my, uh, I guess I let off on my Y button by accident, and I went over and I touched some weeds. So, on the virtual console, you don't have save states you can use. And that's what's going to stop me. So, in the virtual console, you don't have save states you can use. I'm just going to sit in this water. And then we're going to actually do the successful attempt. You don't have save states you can use. So if you take a hit, like I did there, because I just could not ignore that cabinet, you have to start all over. Or use a password, but then you don't have your stuff. So... That's what this is going to be. So, I will see you guys on this successful attempt. Take five. You know, with all the hard hacks I've been playing, you would think this would be easier. Oh, yeah. Like I was saying... I had a poll up for a week. Not a single vote was cast on the poll, so I'm kind of disappointed in that. Because I'm disappointed, but at the same time, I'm not. Because this was... This was actually the hack I wanted. This is actually the the, uh, the playthrough I wanted to do. So, I don't know, even my, uh, Zombies Hit My Neighbors regulars didn't vote for anything. But I did get, uh, Sky Hurricanes 
opinion. And he uh, told me via DM on Twitter, not Twitter, but uh, Discord, that he wanted to see me do a no-hit challenge of this. As it was the only one he was familiar with. Even though he wasn't able to figure out how to vote within the actual project, that was what he cast the vote on, so two votes, it's unanimous. Ah, yes, this one is a hard one. Amongst some of the hardest victims you are going to rescue in this. Oh, no, you don't. So as much as it's going to kill me to do it, I need to uh, leave cabinets alone until I can get across. It is not, when you're doing a no-hit challenge, it is not worth risking yourself going for a cabinet. Alright, five attempts, not bad. Rescue your neighbors in. Zombie panic. So this stage I don't foresee giving me too many difficulties. Honestly, he's the hard, highest risk victim in that stage. I would this stage I would say. But of course we're gonna go back and do it again. Oh, here's an interesting thing that's going to be about this, though. Because I haven't played this in its entirety in so long, I am likely going to get lost because I'm used to playing all these hacks that have, uh... elements of the level... the levels in them. Unfortunately, I will not be able to get this uh, A kit because I don't have an extra bazooka shot. But let's go. See, first attempt. Didn't expect that to take too many attempts. Oh, yeah, from here on out, I will cut out all attempts but the successful attempts. Attempt number six. Yeah, I'm okay with this. You know what I'm thinking? I'm going to tell you what I'm thinking. I need two shots of Bazooka to get those last two victims the best way possible, right? So rather than trying to dick around with the pod plant, I'm just going to Bazooka them. There you go. Problem solved. Now, you actually can lose this baby. I've never had it happen, I don't think. 
But sometimes you can get unlucky and the tentacle will spawn over there by the baby. Oh, I've had the tentacle spawn over here by the baby. I've just never lost the baby that way. Honestly, the only way I've ever lost that baby is if when I did a 10% run. Or 20% or 30% or however, whatever I did the runs for, uh... And this one. Whenever I did the, uh, whatever the run was for... To get to all the passwords for this. Because I actually did go through and replay each of these levels a bunch of times. Just to get the passwords. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, once you get past this stage, there's really nothing difficult in this one. Maybe the Chainsaw Maniacs can give you a difficulty, or the, you know, Evil Dials in 3, but other than that, not really. All righty, level two. You know, it's going to be really fun going through and replaying this game. I've been, like, dying to replay this. No pun intended. Oh, and always, always... Zombie, try to get me. Approach the garbage cans from the north if you can, if ever possible. That almost ended badly. I don't foresee any more difficulties happening. Loses a victim the first attempt at the level. Well, fuck. And in true typical Joseph fashion, we are going to get every item if we can help it. That might cause issues for me later on down the line. But I think if I do it, so long as I do it where I edit out all my attempts except the successful attempt, we should be good. All right. Attempt two. Y'all didn't see that. Y'all did not see that. Thank God. That was... What happened in that attempt? Rookie status. Severe rookie status. We have plenty of, uh, plenty of, uh, keys that I don't really feel bad using one there. Lord willing, no one will know what I did that was rookie status. Lord willing.
Oh yeah, watch out now. Be especially careful in this section. Overall, the evil dolls aren't too bad in this level. But you know how their axes work. Alright! Yeah, this level, not the worst. What I recommend doing here is do the uh, fire signature water gun trick. That's like the best thing you can hope for. I'm not doing what I did before, where I try to go for every bonus and every stage. Cooperate me, are you, game? That's my thought. But yeah. You know, I think this is my most, for myself, anticipated uh, project on this channel. Oh. At least in a while. I have a couple other ones I'm really anticipating. Where you at, homie? Come here, buddy. Best friend. Although I think if I were to ever redo the original in a normal way, not, you know, not take any hits the way I'm doing now, I think what I would do differently is I would actually go through the whole hack, or the whole love, the whole game, and leave all non-responding and boss enemies alive that I can. Meaning I would leave pretty much only the UFO alive, because you kind of have to kill every other boss enemy in, in this game. Snake oids you need kill for skeleton keys. That giant babies you need to kill for skeleton keys, unless you really happen to have one by level 8, 22, B, or 25. In which case, you don't have to worry about that. Because you can just bypass the baby. What was the likelihood of you fighting three skeleton keys in uh, some random chest by the time you hit 25? Hold up, though. We ain't done yet. We got one more chainsaw made to take care of, and then we're done. I don't even know why I had my uh, radar on. It's not like I don't know what the hell I'm going or where the hell the victims are. I guess it's more of a force of habit thing. All 
All right. That's it. That's all she wrote, fellas and ladies. Alrighty! And that has been the first part of Let's Play Zombies Ate My Neighbors 100% No Hit Challenge. More difficulties than I want to admit, but only in bonus level data technical, which that is a fairly difficult level to uh, do that on. Anyway, this has been Joseph K. I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. Tune in next time for when I do levels 5 through 8. Signing out. Y'all have a great day. Keep it real. Later.